How do you go from not making much to making much more? I've discovered that the key to doing that is to prioritize revenue and specifically to prioritizing revenue creating activities. So if you find yourself struggling with too many calls, things that are calling for your time, we're all way too busy in our businesses, never getting the important stuff done. So you work all day long and at the end of the day, you go, well, what did I get done? Well, I put out a bunch of fires, but I never got the important stuff done. Or you're struggling with not being able to get your business off the ground. You simply can't get going. Or you're struggling that the same key goals that need to be done today are the same ones from last year or the year before or the year before. Or, hey, I actually work with people who come to me because they've gotten, they haven't been able to get off this key thing they've been working on for five or 10 years. And they're trying to get past that. And so I work with people to help them with this. So let me tell you a quick story. So this is courtesy of Russell Brunson and Dan Kennedy. So Russell Brunson was telling, is telling the story about Dan Kennedy, about how one day Dan was walking into his office with a client who was paying him for, uh, for a major consulting day of, of consulting. And as he was going into the office with this person, one of Dan's people came running up to him and says, Dan, Dan, can I talk to you before you go in there? And Dan turned and asked him a key question. He said, is our business bleeding money? In other words, is this thing you're going to be asking me about something that is an absolute emergency? I mean, we're, we're bleeding, arterial bleeding. Our company is losing money like crazy because of this one issue. And the, and the employee said, uh, no. And he says, it will wait. I have to do the thing that brings in revenue. And then he walked in the office and closed the door and brought in revenue coaching that client. What I invite you to do is to start asking yourself the question when things come up, are we bleeding money? Is this thing that's asking to be done something that is bleeding money from our company? And if not, hey, it can wait while I work on something that produces revenue. Thanks, Dan, for that story. So, until I after do after I do X that makes me money or that sets me up to make money. So then as Russell continued telling this story, he talked about how he knows that in, in his business, he's got two key activities that generate revenue that he can work on. He's got a bunch of employees that work on other things that gen generate revenue, but he has two key things that generate income that he works on. Creating and promoting a webinar and working on his live conferences, both the content that's going to be in it, the promotion of it, the planning of it, and all those different elements. Those are the two key things that Russell can work on that generates huge amounts of business for his business, which, as you know, if you know anything about Russell business, Russell's business, he's generating a huge amount of money into his business. All right. So what I invite you to do is to look at, hey, those are his priorities. So now, what are my business building priorities? What are the things that actually bring in cash or could bring in cash if I just did them in my business? And let's start focusing our time on doing those like Dan did. I will put off this because we're not bleeding cash while I work on this thing that does generate cash. And I invite us all to be looking at it that way. Is this thing that I'm going to be doing going to be generating cash? If not, is there something I could be doing that will generate cash that I should be doing instead? That choice right there is the choice that tends to make the difference between businesses that are succeeding and businesses that are not. Because there's a ton of stuff that ought to be done, that should be done, that could be done, that don't generate cash. Let's get the, the cash generating things done first. 
let me give you a list of things that I think should be on your list. Some of these you've already done. Some of these you haven't. The ones that haven't, I suggest this is a primary cash, cash generating business prior business revenue producing activity for you. All right. So you probably ought to get your course done. If you haven't been able to market because you haven't gotten your course done, you probably ought to get your course done. How about creating an opt-in incentive that's irresistible? Not just an opt-in incentive, not just a lead magnet out there, but a lead magnet that is irresistible to everyone. That may require you to create 30 of them because number 22 is the one that's going to work. How about creating your landing page to get people to opt in to receive that irresistible lead magnet you just created? How about creating your sales video? Writing, shooting, editing, putting it up. How about figuring out ads to build your list? How about getting your autoresponder written? Oh, I can't get, I can't add anybody to my list yet because I haven't got my autoresponder list written. I know people who have literally been telling me this for four months now. And it's like, just sit down and write your autoresponder. It'll take you two hours. And now you can get off the ball and start moving forward. How about picking up the phone and calling 10 potential clients and make an offer to them so that you can start getting some coaching, consulting business on the side while you're building the rest of your business so that you've got something to pay the bills right now. How about actively posting to social media, not hanging out on social media, not just doom scrolling, not all that stuff, but actively posting things that build your business on social media. How about going live online like this? How about creating your launch sequence, each of the elements of my launch sequence so that I am ready to launch and able to launch. How about developing your webinar and developing all the pages and all the marketing and the email and everything that goes around that webinar? How about contacting and talking and building relationships with JV partners so that other people promote your product? Hey, how about actually selling what it is that you make money with or doing the key things that market that thing that you sell. How about building relationships online? Not just being online, but actually working on building relationships, commenting on people's things, making, build, doing the things that build their relationship. Here's one that I forgot to build a card for. How about guest podcasting? How about writing amazing content? Fixing the problem that, that is keeping you from being able to move forward. So my landing page is broken. Well, why don't you go fix it instead of sitting around saying, I can't do anything because my landing page is broken. How about learning how to blank? And I'm not saying be very careful because learning how to can become a very much a non-revenue producing activity. But if learning how to build a landing page and you don't know how, and learning how will enable you to build a landing page, that's definitely a revenue producing activity. How about figuring out what you want to sell? Let's go all the way down to the beginning, figuring out what you want to sell, what you want to be when you grow up. How about actually coaching people to get paid for that? Or how about doing some consulting work to get paid for that? How about do, getting paid to do anything? That's a revenue producing activity. So I just gave you, I don't know, 20 different things that are revenue producing activity. How many of those are ones that you haven't done? Because everything on that list is essential to get going in an online expert kind of business. Well, most of them, you may have a kind of online revenue producing business that may not involve a few of those, but almost every one of those are key. So my question for you is this, what are your business building priorities? The things that are going to bring in revenue for you that you should choose to do instead of the things that are not. Now, I'd like you to invite you to consider and actively write down the answer to this question. How much time did you actually spend working on those things, not thinking about or anything else like that, yesterday. 
last week, last month. My guess is that those number of hours are probably a fairly small number of hours versus the total number of hours you were working. Because most of us are not prioritizing our business building activities. We're just working each day. So the key here is that you're actively working on them. Not And so what percentage of your time are you actually working on these things? Not thinking about how you need to work on them, not regretting that you didn't work on them today, actually taking action, doing those things that bring in the revenue. Focusing on business building priorities is what builds business. Most everything else can wait. Are we bleeding money? No. We'll do it later. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Russell. Now, how about you? Let me know your thoughts on what you're going to be working harder on in the comments. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.